growing grapes commercially here at Overmountain Vineyard since 2000. My dad wanted to do something agricultural with our farm, and he had considered Christmas trees, we'd considered blackberries, raspberries, um, but then we finally landed on grapes. And it, a lot of that had to do with our site selection. We're in a location that's in an area called the Isothermal Belt. It includes Polk and Rutherford counties. I'd say the Isothermal Belt is one of the more unique geographic features. Uh, so it's just purely related to the land and how the temperature inversions affect where cold and warm air sit. Within that little region, each of the vineyards on any given day will experience different highs, different lows, possibly different amounts of rainfall. Some of them might even experience frost events. So just within the region, there are microclimates. So the isothermal belt is comprised of multiple microclimates, multiple soil types. And the region itself has really diverse, diverse range of, um, of climate. So it can, be, it can be really warm on certain days and then it can be rather cool. And so because it has that variation, it's really good for growing grapes. As a winemaker here at Parker Benz, we really want to have wines that are not only enjoyed by the average person, but that also show the best of what exactly we can do. And in the past two years, we've really kind of pulled out the stops on production decisions where we were trying to reach for absolutely the highest quality that we can get, the best decisions that we can make to kind of drive a varietal, whether it's Merlot, Cab Franc, the Petite Mansing, into a wine that's going to most represent it but we also want the wines to be accessible and fun. I like to describe our wines as really fresh and our wines are vibrant and unique. Each wine that we make is completely distinctive from the other. Um, we, we don't like to work off of a recipe. We like to take what nature gives us and produce the best possible wine. Some years the Chardonnay might be really lemony or grassy or um, have these vibrant apple notes. Some years it, it might smell like grapefruits. It just depends on what nature gives us. So when folks come in and say, oh, what kind of wines do you make? I tell them that we make distinctive New World wines um, that are really fresh, dry. So when you visit Parker Benz, we have that vibe that do what makes you happy. If you'd like to do a tour, we absolutely have tours. You can just come and let us know. And the winemaker, or perhaps my dad, if you're lucky, will take you through the winery. If we have a minute, we're basically, you know, we're doing whatever we can do to make you happy. So many of our customers like consider us like the cheers of the vineyard world because they come in, we like to have fun. You know, everybody knows your name. You know, we're just, we just have a really good, happy vibe. When folks visit Over Mountain Vineyards, we like to create a really family-oriented experience. It's our vibe. Um, we're, we just have this feeling. It's like you're on vacation without actually being on vacation. It is, we want to create an experience so that when you're at a wine tasting and you're here and you're tasting wines that you don't feel like you're 30 or 40 minutes from your house. You feel like you're in a destination. You feel like you're in wine country. And while you're here, all you can think about is how good the glass of wine is in front of you and all of the vineyards around you. We create the feeling that we want to have when we're on vacation. Um, and we try to bring that to our guests.